Right now, the Pope is recovering from that surgery to remove half of his colon. The Vatican says he had a severe narrowing of the colon caused by diverticulitis. So what exactly is that? We brought in Dr. Jen Cottle uh, to ask, answer those questions. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. So let's just start. What is it? So diverticulitis is basically an inflammation of diverticula, which are little outpouchings, little sacs that sometimes we find uh, on the colon. So diverticula is something that many people can have. They're little outpouchings, little sacs that develop. They may be entirely asymptomatic, no symptoms, but should those little sacs, those outpouchings get inflamed or irritated, infected, that leads to diverticulitis. And that's presumably what the, the Pope had been suffering from. So when your colon, because those things swell up and get inflamed, it makes the, air, the area smaller, so that was the narrowing. So what does that do to your body? What are the symptoms? Well, so diverticulitis can cause a number of symptoms in and of itself. Again, diverticula don't cause problems, but if it gets inflamed, it can. You can have left-sided abdominal pain. You can have nausea, vomiting. You can have fevers. You could have constipation, diarrhea, et cetera belly symptoms, things like that. Um, but to your point, sometimes if diverticulitis happens too often or it recurs or develops complications, um, it then can actually cause narrowing or stenosis of, of the colon or other problems that need to be intervened. So the Pope, um, we love him, not a young man. So it's pretty, um, you know, you had the major, major surgery and removing about half your colon sounds like, you know, something that we would take pretty, you know, be cautious about doing. What is the prognosis for that or how's he going to do? So he had a left hemicolectomy, which means part of his colon was removed, likely the disease part, the part that was uh, uh, affected mostly by the diverticulitis. Um, a couple things we know about this is that uh, number one, this was a routine or a scheduled surgery, meaning he wasn't apparently rushed to surgery on an emergency basis, which is a good thing. Um, so it was scheduled. Um, and, you know, he's going to be in the hospital. I saw reports for about seven days or so. Uh, the hope is that he does quite fine. The hope is that he does well. Um, you know, again, uh, diverticula, those outpouchings are very common in the population. But I would say, um, you know, a very small percentage of those people do go on to have diverticulitis. It is uh, more common as we get older. Uh, but yes, back to the Pope. I, uh, we, we certainly hope that he does well. Yeah, all of our prayers, obviously. He's going to have a lot of people certainly hoping that. Um, so what is the cause, and is there anything that we can do to prevent it? Yeah, that's a great question. So, um, you know, in the past, we tended to think that a low fiber diet was a main cause, but there's some question as to whether that really is the case. Uh, we think genetics may play a role. We also think that maybe the, the dynamics of the colon, how the colon sort of functions and pressures and things like that may play a role. In other words, it's multifactorial. There's a number of things that play a role. I think the most important thing, and, and I should also say that these diverticular outpouchings, which many people have and don't usually bother us, sometimes they're not even discovered until they people have a colonoscopy or things like that i think the most important thing is to you know just pay attention and in, in case you have any symptoms that are unusual or problematic um listen to your body as i always say as a family doctor and pay attention to your body diverticula may not cause any symptoms uh but diverticulitis likely will just pay attention and if something is not right make sure you see your doctor always good advice schedule those colonoscopies as well i just scheduled mine um get to, <laughs> get to that age also um does it help if you drink water though i find that always helps with digestion and so many things to keep the system sort of flushed and moving so when we talk about sort of constipation and bowel health and things like that, um, having plenty of fiber in your diet, drinking plenty of water, exercise, and all of that kind of stuff is very, very important. So we definitely want to make sure people are doing that. That's a really good tip. Dr. Jen, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you.